hey friends welcome to the youtube channel all about electronics so as you can see this circuit consists of a d flip flop and some logic gates where the x and y are the inputs and z is the output so here we have been asked to identify which flip flop is being represented by this circuit so if you observe this circuit then the additional logic gates are used with the d flip flop so here this x y and the z are the input to these logic gates so first of all let us find the expression of the d in terms of this x y and the z so here this z is given as the input to this first and gate that means the output of this first and gate is equal to x bar dot z similarly this z bar is the input to this second and gate that means the output of the second and gate is equal to y dot z bar and these two inputs are given to the OR gate. That means the output of the OR gate or this D input is equal to this X bar dot Z plus Y dot Z bar. So in this way, we got the expression of the D in terms of the X, Y and the Z. So now let us find out for which input combinations of this X, Y and the Z, this D input is equal to one. So as you can see, this d input is equal to 1 when either x is 0 and this zn is equal to 1 where this zn represents the present state of the output. So this will occur for these two input combinations. So as you can see in these two input combinations this x is 0 and zn is 1. Similarly this d is also 1 and this y is 1 and this zn is equal to 0. So once again it will occur for these two input combinations. So in these two input combinations, this y is 1 and this zn is equal to 0. So in short, this d is equal to 1 for the four input combinations. That means this will be the input to the d flip flop. And as you know, the output of the d flip flop is same as the input. That means for the given inputs, if we see the output of the d flip flop, then it is same as the inputs. So now, let us just concentrate on the first three columns that is x, y and the zn as well as the last column. So here this zn represents the present state of the flip flop but the zn plus 1 represents the next state. Now since this circuit consists of two inputs that means this circuit is either SR flip flop or the JK flip flop. Now this flip flop cannot be SR flip flop because if you see over here then when both inputs are 1 then we are getting the specific output and if you see over here when both inputs are 1 then the output of the flip flop is getting toggled that means this flip flop is not the SR flip flop so now we got that this flip flop is actually the JK flip flop but now we just need to identify that which input is J and which input is K so for that let us compare this table with the truth table of the JK flip flop so here when both x and y inputs are 0 then the flip flop retain its current state which is very similar to the jk flip flop similarly when both inputs are 1 then the output of the flip flop is getting toggled that means presently if this zn is equal to 0 then in the next state it will become 1 or in the second case when the zn is 1 then in the next state it will become 0 and that is also very similar to the jk flip flop similarly when this x is 0 and y is 1 then irrespective of the present state of the flip flop in the next state the output is equal to 1. So if we compare that with the jk flip flop then it happens when this j is equal to 1 and the k is equal to 0. Likewise when this x is 1 and the y is 0 then irrespective of the present state of the flip flop in the next state the output is equal to 0. And in the jk flip flop it will occur when this j is equal to 0 and the k is equal to 1. So we can say that the given circuit behaves as the jk flip flop with x as the k input while the y as the j input and therefore for the given question this d is the correct answer.